Imagine that you can only buy one guitar pedal. What would it be? Today, I'm gonna to reveal you the one pedal that you should buy that's gonna help your sound really be a lot better. And if it's not a tuner, then what would it be? Or if you're curious, you definitely don't wanna miss out on today's lesson. All right, so I know in other past lessons that I've talked about when people have asked about pedals, I've always talked about the importance of having a tuner. And today's pedal is not a, a tuner. Uh, I'm not talking about tuners specifically. And let's talk about pedals. If you're not familiar with what pedals do, they change and they enhance the sound without your guitar being plugged into anything. Your guitar is going to sound very basic. It's going to be very clean. No elements, no delay, no overdrive. It's just going to be just a straight guitar. Without that, with pedals enhance, okay? They change the overall sound of what you can do. Uh, you have overdrive that makes it sound like it's a rock sound. You have delay, you have chorus, you have a lot of different options. But what are some good criteria for you to have when it comes to pedals, All right? So if I had to get a pedal, one pedal, how would, I, how would I defeat the system, right? What's the one pedal that I would get? I would get an all-in-one. And what is the all-in-one? It's like a, a multi-effects board. You have, I would encourage people to talk about like the Boss series. I love Boss pedals. Um, so I would get the Boss Emmy series, whether that be an 80, 70, 90. Any one of those would be a great option. The reason why is within that one, completely like platform, you have multiple pedal options within there. You've got compression, you've got overdrives, you've got delays, you've got different modulations within that one board. Or if you're like not on a budget and you want to kind of swerve a little bit, think about the Helix. You know, stuff like that allows you to have, but like if you're on a budget, definitely you want to find something that's less than like $400. You want to find something, I suggest getting the Boss ME series. There are a lot of different good options out there that can definitely help change and enhance your sound. And some of my basic criteria that I think every guitar player should have, you should have at least these three pedals, right? Tuner, we already know, you gotta have that. But I think every guitar player should have a great overdrive pedal. That's hands down one of the things that you gotta have. And I also think that every guitar player should have a, a lush delay and reverb. Those three, overdrive, delay, and reverb. Without those three, like I feel like your sound is not as beautiful as it could potentially be. You gotta have those three. Those are the holy grails for me, right? If people ask me, what are my holy grail pedals? You gotta have a great overdrive, you gotta have a great delay, you gotta have great reverb. I feel with like those three, you can get through probably any gig effectively. You can make it do what it has to do. Now, there are a lot of different options out there. Before you start to go look at pedals and all the time, do your research, see what's in your budget, see if you can find some stuff that's used. If you're not that familiar with getting, get, with a guy or a tech that knows how to put pedal boards together so that way like when you get all your stuff, it responds the way that you want to respond. That's what I would tell you to do. So in order to beat the system, I would get it all in one. That's just the safest way to make sure that you have all your tones. It's a cost effective way, it doesn't break the bank and it allows you to have all the tones you need and be effective where you can play and not have to worry about like, man, I just spent a lot of money. If I really don't play all that much, like I feel like I just wasted a lot of money. Go find them used. And then you can try them out. Go to Guitar Center. Go to your music store, your local music store, and, and see if they allow you to try out the pedals before you actually purchase them. So you can see, like, what does it sound like? What does it feel like? Because the guitar and the pedal that might be in my hands may sound different in your hands. It may not be the sound that you may like. You got to do your homework before you decide to make that purchase. So in closing, I want to reiterate, if I had to get one pedal, what would it be? It would be all-in-one. I'm, I'm a huge fan of all-in-ones. Um, they're definitely cost effective. It doesn't break the bank, but it allows you to sound and have a lot of options. So you could be like a Swiss army knife and have a lot of options when it comes to you sounding great on your guitar. If I had to pick three, my three Holy grail pedals are reverb delay and overdrive. You got to make sure you have those. I feel like with those, you could get through any gig, but again, I would encourage you to go check them out. Go try them out. If you're like, you're big and you never heard of all in ones, that means one pedal board that has all the different options in it. I'm a huge fan, like I said again, of the Boss series, the Boss Emmy series. There's a 25, there's a 50, there's a 60, or a 70, 80, 90. There's a lot of different options. I would try them out. Try before you buy, see if you like it, and definitely know me in the comments which one you like, which one is your favorite, which one would you definitely use? What is a go-to for you? I definitely wanna know.